Tom Brady bent NFL rules over the past two decades for the Super Bowl game. Here's the latest chapter in the hefty Brady book called, Advanced Cheating for Those Who Don't Need It But Why Not Do It If You Can Get Away With It? Courtesy of COVID-19, state and local authorities around Brady's world in Tampa forbid public gatherings of more than 10 people. So the future Pro Football Hall of Fame quarterback has spent at least the last couple of weeks at a Tampa-area high school doing passing drills with, ahem, several of his teammates. Are we talking about 10 or less players? Maybe. Then again, it depends on whether you count folks more than once during some of these Brady-led sessions. This nearly 43-year-old master of finding loopholes in NFL rules is trying to get a jump on his peers. Actually, Patriots coach Bill Belichick was the master along these lines and Brady was the mentee. Whatever the case, Brady has transferred what he learned from his, Patri his Patriots days to Tampa in ways beyond just his latest team workouts. Barely a week before the Super Bowl 55, a city worker discovered the guy throwing passes with somebody in a Tampa park when such places were closed at the time due to the coronavirus. But two weeks ago, there was the time Brady visited with Bucks offensive coordinator Byron Leftwich before the start of organized team activities OTAs, which wasn't allowed by NFL rules. The penalty for Brady after each of those things. Not only that, he also played in the final? Nothing. Because, he's Tom Brady. He is the son of National Football League. 